So today I'm talking to KT Gallagher, the uh, health administrator for Dunn County, and we're going to talk a little bit about today's news about how phase 1B has been extended to people over the, well, age 65 and over, and what impact that has on people in Dunn County. So what impact does that have on people in Dunn County? Well, I think that um, as you heard from the deputy secretary today in their um, media Q&A, that it, it has the ability to open up um, vaccination for the people at highest risk for really bad outcomes, um, loss of life or really severe disease. And in, and in that perspective, um, the, the decision to parallel the federal uh, age criteria is important and I think helpful. I think the challenge is um, going to be that we have not heard from the SDMAC or the State Disaster Medical Advisory Committee on who else is eligible in um, some of the younger populations. And so those two things in concert, um, while it's a win-win for people that want the vaccine, um, 65 or better now can get the vaccine, uh, it will be a challenge for some of the other folks um, that need to be accommodated. Um, I think the other challenge is going to be one of math. I mean, the numbers aren't fantastic just yet. Uh, if we have 700,000 people in Wisconsin that are 65 or better, and we receive about 70,000 uh, vaccines a week from the federal allotment, that math um, is a challenge until we can bring on new vaccines and ramp up production. Yes, I mean, if, if you do the math, even if you ignore the other phase 1B people, and we don't really know who they are yet since the comment period for that uh, just closed yesterday. Uh, so but supposedly later in the week, we'll know the answer to that. But even if you just count the people like me who are over 65, uh, that's a good three months worth probably of catching up, uh, assuming everybody actually wants to get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think we're going to have to be patient. I was a little surprised. I, I got a couple comments on social media that two of the big local providers already have a sign-up sheet online, which mm -hmm. I guess surprised me because I'm a male patient and they're just basically saying, hang in there, we'll let you know. Sure, sure. And so I'm very grateful for our um, local healthcare providers. They have all been very transparent in their desire to match their age eligible 1B and 1C um, uh, folks that want to be vaccinated with a vaccine. And so my anticipation is that all three healthcare providers here in the Chippewa Valley will reach out actively to let people know when they're ready um, to get them vaccinated, balancing the need to get our healthcare providers and our folks that meet that, um, that age-based criteria as well. Yes, uh, in any case, clearly we're not all going to get in there this week. So <laughs> no, sir. I think, I think it's time for some patience as you know, almost everything about this is required some patience and calm and um, flexibility. Yes, and I, uh, I, I hope people will be, you know, as kind about this as they can be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I, I also appreciate the flexibility um, I've heard from my department has heard from a lot of people today that want to be on the list to get the vaccine. Let's go. Um, and, and I know that it's, that it's a challenge. I know that people have really altered the way they go about their life to keep themselves safe because of their own risk tolerance. Um, and they're, they're ready. They're ready to get both doses and they're, they're ready to get back to a, a new normal or something that looks a lot like the old normal. And, and vaccination really is kind of the, the off ramp to this, um, this period of COVID that we've, we've, we've dealt with. So we're committed to getting everybody that wants a vaccine, a vaccine. Um, and my hope is that our um, healthcare providers are really gonna know their clients best and, and match them quickly to get them vaccinated. And uh, the local health department can pick up the, the folks that either don't have a medical home 
or have barriers um, to getting vaccinated? Yeah, I know one of the things that was brought up today and, and I think is a real concern is that uh, if, if we set all this stuff up to be, you know, online and that's how you make your vaccination reservation, uh, re reservation, there are a lot of people who aren't really in a position to do that either because they don't have technological skills, you don't have a computer or don't have broadband that works. Sure. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to this because I'd love to be going back out there and doing more reporting in the field instead of uh, sitting here doing laundry and, you know, watching movies and that sort of thing. And, and I'm sure lots of other people have other things they want to be out doing. Uh, but I think, you know, that's the position we're in right now. I'm yeah. really hoping that that doesn't mean people will think, oh, well, it's over. I can, you know, go out and do stuff. And I think that's that's a real concern. Yeah. No, just to pick up on two points that you make, Steve, we recognize that many of our folks that want to get vaccinated may have a barrier using um, a MyChart or a portal technology. And so we're just in very beginning conversation with ADRC to help identify um, high risk uh, folks or age-based folks um, and to, to match them with a telephone call uh, to a provider. Um, so that's one of the things that, that we're doing. And then the other point that you made is that just because the vaccine is out there doesn't mean we can throw caution to the wind and um, go wild and crazy. Uh, so we still need to continue to do those things um, because I've not been vaccinated. I'm going to make an assumption that you haven't been vaccinated. Uh, we don't have a herd immunity at this point because we haven't hit that critical mass of, um, you know, 70 to 80 percent of our community being vaccinated. So we still need to take all those precautions and keep physical distance, wash your hands, stay home, wear a mask, all the things that we know we should be doing, but it's really tempting to not do because we know a vaccine is out there. Yeah, so I was hoping if we had a little chat here today, it would answer some people's questions and maybe they can, you know, not be calling you up just to say, I want the vaccine, because I mean, it, clearly a lot of people do. Absolutely. Um, so one of the things that we've gotten questions about is a wait list. So we don't have a wait list for unaffiliated um, 1B folks. Uh, we have a, a uh, kind of a wait list or at least a please give us a call for businesses that believe that we believed based on ASIP or the national guidance would be in 1B. But we hope to have as soon as SDMAC put something out uh, an online wait list at least for you know either our partners at ADRC or somebody within the health department can make a phone call. Um, again, um, still leaning into, um, into folks that maybe not may not be so technologically savvy um, and uh, making sure that we connect with them um, as well via phone. Um, so that's that's on it's in the works um, and we're just waiting for SDMAC to put out their finalized guidance so that we can get that up online. As always there might be a couple of other glitches in the system too. Uh, somebody gave me the link to Previa signups form and I just went to look at it and their website isn't loading right now. I think it's mm. overwhelmed from people trying to sign up. So that's that's the other concern is that you have this huge crush of folks that want to get vaccinated right away and, and it may overwhelm the system. I mean, if we've got a 700,000 people that are 65 or better, that's a lot of internet traffic to all happen just at once. So again, people's patience um, when they call or when they to sign up online, um, we will get there and we'll get there together. Anything else people in Dunn County should know about this? Um, no, I, I think that we've talked about it. Uh, really start with your provider uh, using online methods if possible or uh, phone calls if not possible and be patient and we will put more information out as soon as we have it and we will actively recruit as soon as we can. Okay, well, thank you for your time, KT. I'm sure you've got plenty to do this week. So I do. I'll let you get back to it. Always a pleasure, Steve. Take care.
YouTube.